Check, check on the voice. How's this going? Can you hear me? Alright, I'm going to send off the messages to the places and then get myself a cup and then we can go ahead and get ourselves started. Coffee time. Be back in a second.
Okay, I have returned. I think we're just about all good to go. Let me go ahead and tweak some of these uh, thing, 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 thingy bobs real quick. There we go. Okay. Pop on over to the Twitch stream here. Here we go. Mario Galaxy is do the thing with the Ouija. Oh, wow. I already had 40. That's, I, 50 stars will be trivial to hit then. Yay. Uh. Step on the big plate and let's do the things. Right, I could totally just go back in time and start getting some Comet Stars. Let's do that. It'll be like a nice change of pace. To get ourselves started, we'll reacquaint ourselves with some old stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Now for the main attraction! Flaming Bagel for Christ, thank you for that host. Somebody remind me on my Discord this weekend to make my second host notification because I have another idea for it and it won't even be that hard to make. I just need to like stop forgetting to do it when I'm not on stream. Do the this thing. Yoshi Star Galaxy. Fly to this galaxy. Do the comic galaxy. 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 I can't rhyme any word other than a word with itself which is not the same different word. Fucking gonna stop. Rainbow Rock. Alright, this shouldn't be hard. This just looks like get a star, kill a bunch of spinies, and then you'll have a star. Yes. Oh, but I have a time limit. Okay, that's ever so slightly more challenging. Let's see if I can do it before 30 seconds. Nope, not if I get stuck in the mud. Let's see if I can do it before... 20 seconds. Ten seconds! Wow, getting stuck in that mud just sucks. I don't take back that the mission was easy, but I'm not... I'm certainly not making it look easy. I'm gonna stop worrying about the bits. That's not helping my time. I can grab endless bits and other... Oh, but no, but I can't forget about the bits because there's just so many of them necessary for a bunch of those Lumas. Alright, well, I failed the super easy mission. Just goes to show you how easy it is if it has to uh, have its bar set at challenging a guy who just only woke up in order to claim victory over me the play. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just having fun shitting on it again because it's, complaining is, is a fun thing to me. <laughs> Don't mind me. <clears throat> Let's go this way this time, and actually maintain a proper loop. God, there's one behind the tree, too? Yeah, I never would have found that. God, there was one all the way back here? Oh my god, there's like seven more of these things than I thought there was. This might actually be ever so slightly for real challenging. Like, even when I knew what I was doing, I only had two seconds left. Alright, alright, I'll give you your props, game. You're so desperate for them. Nah, that was, that was fair. That was legit. You gotta know your route to get that. Ah! <sighs> Celebratory Bailey sip. And that's star number 51. Stopping at the bit toad again, because apparently I was using him wrong. If I want to give 
Like, if, if I want to use him, I have to check in with him every single time. Because his bits don't seem to stack up over time the way you'd expect them to. Like, he just sort of picks a random number, it seems like, to add to the total, and it's always between 1 and 10. And that's it. And he just says it when you talk to him. So if you talk to him every single star, you might get a couple hundred out of it over the course of the game. But if you wait 30 stars and talk to him, he's like, I found two! And it's like, why did I give you any of my money to begin with? You don't know what interest is. <laughs> Go to the spin dig. God damn it, frames. Don't start dropping on me now. They're supposed to be solid in the morning. This is supposed to be a solid experience in the morning. Twitch. And my connection. It's stable again. Next time he didn't get back to me last night, I'm gonna call him again today and ask and make sure that they got my email. Because they want to do a thing, but they sent me an email asking how what's the best time to do it. But the email was sales at Tech Savvy, so when I respond to it, I have no idea if it's actually getting back to the guy who sent it in the first place. And I've received no further responses to confirm that. Okay, so, boss fight with only one HP. This shouldn't be too bad. This is a rather simple boss. Still, like, the whole thing about the Daredevil runs is not so much the simplicity, just the, like, you have actually no margin for error. If you fuck up once, you're dead. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> okay, cool. At least he runs around for a while. He doesn't flip over again immediately. Oh, oh my god! That guy turned around! He's not supposed to turn around. They're supposed to keep going until they get flattened. Bullshit. How's the volume? Can you guys hear everything? You guys hear me? You guys hear game? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can jump on them. That's good. Yeah. No. I don't like I don't like the gravity and the camera and the weirdnesses because like I'm holding left. Which makes me think, to go the other direction, I should hold right. But when I let go of the control stick, it like resets my local direction and I have to hit down to go down. Which is why I stood there and didn't move. Because it was not in, it did not do what I wanted it to do when I hit the control. Which happens a lot in Mario Galaxy. And it's oh so frustrating. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's the one. I see what it was. He nailed the leg and then turned around. But the dude just wasn't there to reset him. Bam! Okay, there we go. Boss time for real this dead. Volume good? Yay! make me dig through the world. I don't want to dig. I want this tiny little disc planet to have its own ecosystem, undisturbed by technology, except for all the technology that just happened. But you know what? I was saving it. Now I can let it regenerate. And the way to start that process is not to dig another goddamn hole. <laughs> Alright, cool. Making progress. So that's these two done. I don't think there is anything else in this galaxy for me right now, so let's head back out again. Puzzle Plank has a bunch of comets for me, so let's grab all of these. 
I mean, the g gal- Pump. Universe? They don't understand space terms here either. This collection of levels also has a bunch of prankster comments. I, I do like the purple coins. These are usually fun levels. Okay, in this case, it looks like they just put a hundred of them in a small box of a room. I know exactly where that room is. I found that room before. You're not even gonna give me an option for it. You just say, get in the fucking hole. Oh, right, it's a Shadow Mario level. All right. Well, I legitimately love Shadow Mario levels, so now I can't shit on it anymore. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, ah! I missed one. I had to cut through the line of Shadow Marios to grab it. Yeah, this, this shouldn't be too bad. I'm pretty close to done. Excellent. Now they all pop and give me a bang, whole bunch bang. of bits. Bang, bang. I'll check who that is in a half second as soon as I get all these bits here. Ah! Priddle! Thank you for the follow, my good dude and or dudette. How you doing this Saturday morning? Thumbs up? Alright, good. Welcome to my blind, uh, 120 stars playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy 2, in which I'm actually spending a whole lot of the time being unimpressed by what is on display. Because I like to talk about games, that includes all opinions, both good and bad, and like, oh, I've talked for the last two weeks on some of the things that bother me about the Galaxy games. <laughs> but like, discussion's fine, it's still like, colorful, and it feels kind of okay to run around and stuff like I know that I'm gonna have fun with the challenges they put at the very end of this game but up until then I'm, I'm having I'm having fun going through it and pointing out things that seem off to me <laughs> I can add two star bits to your total sure make another deposit it's not like it's gonna fucking matter you don't actually know what interest is toad But going through these old levels is also a chance to grind up some bits because there's a star person around that's going to take like 1,200 of them soon or something. It's, in, it's pure insanity. Doing great, man. Just chilling, I guess. All right, cool. Hey, there's nothing wrong with just chilling on a Saturday morning. This is what I'm doing here. Playing games to wake up and just fucking chilling. Although th today's stream will be hard limited to two hours. I went long last time. And I think the week before, I've got like a bunch now of things I want to get to this weekend. BC2, uh, 20, 20, 2014, BC2014, thank you for that host. Oh, there's holes in the ground. Ooh, time limit, holes in the ground, and meteors. Okay, this is ever so slightly trickier. <clears throat> Get, get off of me. It is definitely trickier to navigate these little platforms when your, your path is like littered with not platform. <laughs> nope, nope. Run right by on you. Oh, 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 that was a thing. That was a thing. I need that thing. Always grab the these things. Oh, all it did was create coins. All right, less important. Ah, 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 get off, get off, get off. Good, okay, now we're good. I think I already have the Comet Medal on this level, so that shouldn't be a concern right now. I just gotta make it to the end. I'm also gonna go ahead and guess that the Luma's not gonna show up in this level again with this coin requirement, which I'm gonna be very happy about.
Go Yoshi, go Yoshi, go Yoshi, go! This over here is just... Okay, cool, they took out the useless life thing. Happy about that. I have one minute left to navigate this last thing. Can I do it? Probably. Only way to know for sure is to do it. Find out. Turns out that yes, I am very capable of doing this within a minute. It's actually still surprisingly generous. Bam. More than 30 seconds left to spare. Woo! Another star in the bank. From memory, I don't think the timing on this one is too bad. Don't worry about the Luma, loads of time. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty pretty manageable. Oh, there is a coin total. Okay, I, didn't, I don't know what the coin total could possibly be for. Every Luma just asks that you, like, give him coins you find in the level. And I don't think there have been any Lumas so far that show up on the ship. For coins, I mean. Hmm, alright. What is that icon? Oh, another chimp challenge. Right, okay. Well, I'll do that one, too. We'll get there in due time. Coin gives you life every hundred coins. That's literally it. God, they, they... They don't... I don't need... I don't need more stinking lives. This game throws them to me like candy. I have to actively avoid them to get any semblance of challenge. Rolling crab a -rom. All right, so I gotta come over here, and what, I have to kill them all? With the stone, I get it now, the rolling bit. Eat dicks, 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 dicks. Just dicks, 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 dicks. There's a whole lot of star bits here, that's nice. Oh, I see a blue one. I see a blue special one. You're going. I won't get you, blue crab. Gotcha. Oh, they're just giving free lives because that's the thing that I still need fucking more of. Look, there's like four of them hanging out on the island here. Not doing anything, they're just there. This might actually be a little tricky right now. I'm trying to. Yeah, trying to line up these crabs is uh, harder than expected. Or I guess not harder than expected. There, there's probably a way to exit out of the boulder thing that I don't know of just yet. So I could, so I don't have to waste seconds every time, like, continuing my big... Uh, my whole line, and I figured out what it is. It's jump and crouch. We'll release you from the boulder. Super handy to know, because now I can reorient myself anytime I need to. Like, specifically to hit certain crabs, which will be a big help. Okay, okay, Mario, Mario, I need you to, like, stop for a half second here. Ah, good, I got them both. That was really poor timing there, but thank you, Priddle, for that sub right there. Wow, we are actually on a little bit of a sub train over the last few days here. What with the six gift subs that came out of Xenoblade, and now another one this morning, you get a boop! Thank you. Enjoy your new emote, which I'm sure you will find plenty of use for around here. <laughs> I'm really good at creating situations in which to say oops. A letter addressed to the baby Luma has arrived. 
To my lost Luma, I hope this letter reaches you in bright spirits, little one. This should be of some help on your journey back to me. May the stars shine down on you. It's 300 one-ups! More bits. The things that... That's, that's only value in this game is the fact that you need to spend them by the hundreds. A hundred would have been good. Fifty is like less than I can grab in a two minute level. Rosalina, come on. I mean, mystery woman. But being so cheap. We know you're sitting on like billions of the things. Why don't you pony up for your lost baby Luma if you care so much? Jungle Fluzzard Race. So yeah, that puts me only three subs away from being forced to play Celeste. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna have to play that game that everybody wants me to play and actually looks really fun. Yes. And reminder that it is also September, and the way that that works this year is that if anybody gifts, is if you are gifted a sub to any channel, you can Within the month of September, you can convert that gift to a recurring sub on your own card uh, for a dollar for the first month. So, like, you get your gift sub for free, and then you get your first month uh, for a buck. If you convert it within September. It's, it's a lot more challenging to say this time than half-price subs. <laughs> Who do I talk to? Not you, you don't talk. Yeah, yeah. Ready, ready. Let's go, let's go. Race, race. Just try me, just try me. I'm ready any time, ready any time. I'm the best there is, I'm the best there is. Just try me, just try me. I never lose a race, never lose a race. Stop saying everything in, def in, in doubles. Okay. Shouldn't be too tricky. I don't actually have access to any speed controls, which means all I have to do is not crash, and I should win. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a speed booster of some sort later on. I don't know. <clears throat> Doesn't look like it so far. Dive through here, avoid the one-up, because I don't want you. I guess going down does increase this. Oh, hell yeah, let's go down here. I think this is the one route I haven't taken before. Oh god, that's where the other bird was? Wow, he had a commanding lead on me. Maybe that's a more direct path. So if you take the other ones, you're sort of like stuck doing a bunch of turns, whereas he takes the direct one? I don't know. Point is... Pretty fucking simple. I lost? I'm no leader. You be our new leader. New leader. New leader gets a star. My first act as new leader is to ditch you all in this galaxy and go off and do my own shit. I have to appoint a new leader then, don't I? Ah, uh, you! Blue's a good color! <laughs> Just because you say I'm your new leader doesn't mean I have to actually do it. Oh, great. I showed up on a different part of the island. That means Lubba's gonna tell me that I brought a bird back with me, didn't I? And I'm gonna be like, Shut up, Lubba! Nobody fucking cares, you freeloading prick. I didn't bring him back. He followed me back. And I didn't bring you back. And you won't leave. Yahoo! There we go. Alright. Back off to Galaxy 3. Universe 3. Cosmos 3. Star System 3. I don't know what these things are called. This one. Tall Trunk Galaxy. Get another star. Make it happen, Captain. Ooh, yay, purple coin. Ooh, a slide. I might lose this one just by virtue of the fact that I 
haven't seen the path they're going to lay out on the slide yet. It seems like it should be rather simple, but they usually find a way to get something tricky or unexpected in these. Ouija! Looking for a star? You want me to take over for a little while? Hell yes. Luigi is the superior Luigi bro. What do you want? I lost some purple coins. I had 140. Must have dropped them down this slide. Even just 100 would be fine. Alright, sure. So there are 140 total. I only need a hundo. So I'm already down to 138 because I've missed two. If it's generous enough to give me, like, 40 potential fuck-ups, I think I'll be fine. Okay, never mind, I just missed a bunch trying to get the, at that one. So I am going to be tasked with making decisions between a one and a more than one. Because I just can't slide that fast on these walls. Oh god! Alright, well, I, I didn't even make it to the end then. Cool, forgot about that hard right. It's okay. Luigi can walk it off. He's got he's got good long legs. Good long dancer's legs. Let's not miss the ones in the beginning now because that's easy gets. There's there's no point in uh, depriving myself of. <clears throat> now I just continue going to the right. Hitting those doubles is actually like really tricky. They're spaced out just perfectly enough that you can go down the middle and get them both. But more likely than not, you're just going to kind of be, like, jerking yourself back and forth, trying to straighten out. I just decided I didn't want to jump. <laughs> Figured it wasn't worth the effort. <laughs> God damn it. Shut up, Lubba! Well, back again. To that exact same level. Because there's no punishment for getting a game over. Other than 30 seconds of wasted time. They did release the ability on Twitch for affiliates to use their own icons for subs at this point, right? I should probably do that soonish too. Like, make a couple little little colored brains to act as the icon. Instead, I'm not still relying on the super simple purple star. Oh well. That's definitely not incredibly high up on my priorities list. It just seems like a, a quick thing that I could do. What I should really do is look into how difficult it is to change once it's been implemented. Because I can make something placeholder and then replace it later. But if that's more difficult, then I'd just wait. And wait until I had the time to make something that I'm, like, real happy with. Crank right! Ah, good. Oh god, almost fell off. I got this. In the bag. Now I just have to survive. Done! You got him, nice work, sweetie. Let me trade you for this stuff. Been up since July? Alright, alright, so I'm just... I doing too many things to worry about it. I have to do Blender tutorials again this weekend too. Like finally finish a course that I started months ago and then gave up on. Cause I got a side project now, maybe lined up that will require I use Blender and not Maya. Hey. I'm all over the place, exploring the universe, bro. Come check me out when you see me. 
Friendly bank toad, give me as many star. I don't need to know this every time. Found eight, add to your total, 871. Maybe it's that he's taking like the hundred amount that you have and adding that to your total every time. That would make some small amount of sense, I guess. Just based on the past visits that I've been paying attention to. Oh, God damn it! there's another comet here. The one that I didn't look at. Rolling Masterpiece Galaxy. This also shouldn't be too dri too too difficult. I don't know where I got the R from. Tough and difficult both don't have an R. Maybe I got tough and trouble mixed up in my head, and then I took that mixed up word and tried to mix it with difficult. These things happen automatically. While the word are uh, spouting from my face hole. Oh god, right, I don't control this with the control stick. This is the motion one. Forgot about that for a second. Shouldn't be too tricky, I think I aced it last time. Yeah, I just gotta find a key. Which is like, oh, so difficult to find. Staboosh! Look at that, I'm two islands in already, and I'm not even at 30 seconds. Bam! Don't go too fast. I can't see the platforms ahead of me. Not sure why they put the star bits going down on the side like that when you don't have access to the pointer. It's like clearly a trap. Oh, God! <laughs> My knees! <laughs> I don't remember this part last time. This might be a new island for this particular run. Oh, God! I see what's up with the bob bombs now. Oh, well. Still piddly easy. There's a couple of platforms now to have to fight the chomp around. Still not tricky in the slightest. Here we go! I did it. Don't jump off the fucking platform right now, Mario. <laughs> Alright, cool. I think that's like a star every... How long have we been going here? About 40 minutes. And I'm up... Uh, eight stars. That's a star every five minutes so far. Not the trickiest of games. Let's head off to... What is it? Fourth World now? No, 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 no. Oh, if I click a thing, he'll just go there super fast. That's actually kind of handy. <clears throat> this Luma needs 1,200. I don't think I have access to that many just yet, so I have to do another level. Super massive. Finish this one up. Grab some more bits. Huge trouble with big wigglers. I found the secret or second star on this one the first time through. I think it was on top of those womps there. There's another launch star. Luigi! Hey. You looking for a star? You want me to take over for a little while? Yeah! Yeah! Yay, Luigi. Best bro! Okay. Well, with that Luma in World 4, whatever it is, uh, I'm clearly going to have to be a little bit more particular about grabbing all of these star bits. I also think I'm uh, 
going to adopt a policy of ignoring the Lumas until the end of the game, so that my increasing total of star bits can uh, give me an increasing amount of interest, and I'm not, like, delving into it every world and resetting that counter. If I wait on it, then I'll get more interest overall, like drastically more, by the end of the game, when I choose to spend it all. That's how it's working out in my head, and you can't tell me I'm wrong, because I will just refute you, despite evidence. <laughs> Damn you, Luigi, and your slippery feats. Well, I gotta keep the star bits. So, gather them all up again. One benefit to dying constantly. Your star bit total will go up faster than if you didn't. Luigi, please. Thank you. Good. There we go. <clears throat> Not making this run right now. Not gonna make it. Here we go. Yeah! It's much, much harder to stop on a short dime like that as Luigi. That's kind of the point of Luigi. So I can't be mad at him for it. Didn't want that. Okay, I thought I was off kilter to grab that. All right, so I remember the Koopas. Can't remember where the secret star was if it wasn't here, though. Cool. And st Wasn't that Luma, because that one doesn't actually ask, ask for a price. <clears throat> Maybe there was another one further up? Or maybe it was this thing. I really don't remember. Yes, I think it was this thing, because you can grab a whole bunch of coins here, and then you go forward a little bit, and then I think there's a Luma that, like, I happen to have enough coins for thanks to this. Fuck you, Piranha. <laughs> hmm, throwing bits at him throws off their timing a little bit. All right, cool. Don't care about the that. Was it up here? Oh no, I know what it was. It was get all of the flowers to show up on this thing, and then you will, uh, the secret star will just sort of sh- A vine will sprout that will take you to that secret star up there. That's what it was. Let's go to the real star, then. <clears throat> or I could just walk off the edge, because I thought I was in a different place, spatially. Cool. Eat dicks, Wigglers! It is I who ate the dick. Whoops. Luigi jumps are awesome. Just sidestep all of the challenge of this stage.
Alrighty. 49 stars. We're gonna hit 50 before we even get to the first hour. Let's turn into, uh... Starbit Toad, add six to your toad. Yeah, okay, so this time he only added six, despite me having 905. That's a shame, Toad. I was starting to think you might be useful. And you had to go and disappoint me. No, no, don't give me your fucking one-up. Nice glasses, I think, make me look like I'm good at math. No, you know what? You know what? Now, now what you're gonna get, Toad, is I'm gonna take money out. Specifically, 10 bits. Just so that I can fucking shoot them at you. You're a little asshole, Toad. Fuck you. I hate you. <laughs> okay, next up. Flitzville looks fun. There's also Honey Hop. Eh, hey, Honey Hop looks less fun. So let's do that one first, get out of the way. I hope it's not always less than 10. That would be a terrible amount of interest. I mean, when you have almost no bits in there, he gives you one and two. At least now he's giving me numbers that are over five, which add up to tens and eventually hundreds. Yes. But hot damn, it sure does suck that it's not actually based off of how much you have in there and interest. Oh, wonderful. It's my favorite power-up again. Fucking B. We spent like 20 minutes last stream talking about how talking about power-ups and the B and how much I hate it. It's not It's not fluid, it's not fun, it's incredibly cumbersome and slow. It just kills any sense of momentum you may have had. I dislike the B immensely. Actually, give me these bits. I'll take your endless amounts of bits. I'm gonna need endless amounts of bits for fucking however many Lumas are in this game. Uh, Pipe. Pipe, where do you take me? Alright, these could give me bits, so I'll roll them. Are you serious? They give me single bits or free lives. Like, that's just a giant waste of time. There's no value in any of those rewards. Why would you give them to me? Why would you make a side room that takes my time and then give, give me dice that roll between two useless things? It bothers me so much. Can't get in there, all right. B Mario can float on clouds, I think. Floaty fluff, shake that to float with it. Pressing A makes it disappear. All right. I didn't press it. I just shook the thing like you told me to, and it didn't work. So the balloons, I think, will make me pop up, right? No. I have to just get the balloons for a bonus? Of some sort? No, just bits. All right, cool. More useless stuff. It's 
So I don't know what purpose the lily pads serve. Oh, are they just... Okay, so they're just supposed to be platforms for B-Mario to land on and regenerate himself instead of landing on water. Gotcha. Whoops. Okay, so... Big ol' island. Lots of silver stars. Go find them all. Gotcha. Shouldn't be too tricksy. I don't imagine they've put any of them in particularly difficult spots. I just need to make sure I get eyes on every corner of this place. <clears throat> cool, that's three. What are you doing over here, Sleepy Bee? Get back to work. Silver Star is not here. I don't believe you. Look, there's one literally right here. You're such a fucking liar, little bee. All right, last one will probably be at the very top. I know how these things go. Damn it. Judging Z distance while flying is really tricky. Because the shadows are always just directly below you, and when you're high off the ground, you can't see where that is. Up, 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 up! Goodness, always a pleasure to meet a new bee. There's a terribly itchy spot on my back. Thanks for just giving me such an obvious hint. <clears throat> it's not like there was a queen bee in the first Mario Galaxy and the whole point was to crawl on her back and get stuff. Nope, you gotta just point it straight out to me and say, hey, there's... There's one star left on this island that you're missing. I show up, there's a giant queen bee, and instead of saying something that actually encourages exploration, she's like, go on my back. That's where the thing you want is. Camera. I would have died. Because you fucked up. All the way back up again. Cool, another star. That one took more than five minutes. That was a bit of a slog. Bubba, why have you taken me to the darkest secret room in the comet again? In, in, in the face ship? Hell yeah, comet! Let's go back and get that. Striped mushroom? I don't want a fucking bee Mario on this ship. Just get rid of it! Lift the pedestal and throw it off the ship. I don't want it even around. This thing is getting so f puffed up with just useless garbage. <clears throat> 1098, sure, let's make another deposit. Although you don't have any more for me now. Alright, back to this one. Let's do it.
Big Wiggler's speed run. I don't think this will be too hard, honestly. The level itself isn't all that challenging. It's just a matter of, like, don't fuck it up. And I don't even have Luigi to worry about this time. Although that does mean I won't be able to use the long jumps to take, like, super shortcuts at the end. Hmm. Might have to find the real path. Okay, cool. We'll do the long jump. Wait for the twomps to fall. Come to a stop. It's not worth climbing up them. Just wait for him to go back up. We'll hop over here. Whee! Choo! On to the next island. <clears throat> um, okay, because good, so there is still a drill. Take care of you. Take care of you. Take care of you. Next island. Bam. Let's go. Making good time. Good progress. Should be able to long jump, skip over a bunch of these. That was actually closer than I would have liked it. Ignore the coins on the side, not necessary. Skip loo around the piranha. Okay, so I've got like 45 seconds to make it through the entire wiggler portion. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm not gonna worry about jumping. I'll just uh, take the run routes. I don't think Mario can jump as long as Luigi, which is how he's taking the shortcuts. God damn it. Ah! Woo, okay, that was actually kind of tricky. Oh my god, what? Oh, come on! Oh, come on with that nonsense! You gonna make me go all the way around again to get to the flag? Oh, okay, this this just graduated from challenging to dickish. I did not make many mistakes there. I don't know how you want me to go faster. I guess I have to wait around less. Like, I don't have a choice here. I have to wait for the pipe to come back. So I might have to make a few more aggressive jumps in the Wiggler section, I guess. I didn't think there was a whole lot more I could do there. If they're in the wrong spot, you kind of just have to wait for them to get in the right spot. Like, I think I'm directly on par with the time I had last time right now. And I need, like, another five seconds. Yeah, I'm at a minute again. <clears throat> okay, actually, I guess I have 50 seconds now instead of 45. That's about exactly as much time as I needed to make up. But I still have to wait for this Wiggler to get out of the fucking way.
Nope, I don't go faster than him. It might be possible to walk alongside a Wiggler, but like the margin is so damn thin that I don't think it's worth it. Because like you're just going to take a hit, get knocked back anyways, lose that extra time you were trying to gain, and... Ugh. Probably just die and have to redo the whole thing again anyways. No, 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 get over there! Okay, good. That's probably costing me a second. Although, I guess I'm here at the same point, so that should be identical. Okay, cool, so I don't have to waste a second setting up for the, uh, the crouch ground pound there. Go, 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 go! God damn it, that's gonna cost me some time. I thought I could just get the first Koopa immediately, but no. That's gonna cost me like two or three seconds. At least I'm getting a whole bunch of star bits for the bank today. Alright, cool, so we'll do the jump. Another jump. Big ol' jumperoo. Nope, alright, shit. Thought I might be able to get away with just like sneaking along the top. So now I'm between the times of my last two runs. Don't know how I feel about that. Wigglers! Wigglers, for fuck's sake! Okay, long jumping actually looks like it's a bad idea. It gets me a little bit more speed, but then I have like a stall upon landing. And because of the way that the thing is, like, curved... I'm actually getting a lot more landing stall time than I would if I was long jumping along a flat surface. Which is... hella unfortunate. Why do you keep backflipping in the wrong direction? Okay, cool. That saves me a second. Let's go ahead and grab the this thing. Get in the appropriate position for it. Instead of drilling immediately, gotta get that extra distance. Bam. One. Second one I can follow up on immediately. Bam. Two. Third one, too? Hot diggity. Alright, cool. So, take the this. I think I'm a second or two ahead. Take back what I said, this clearly is a more advanced Prankster Comet. I like it, I like the challenge, it's just, yeah, it's definitely tricky. Oh, hell yes. Okay, cool, so that saves me a little bit of time. I think now I can afford to be just a tad more patient when it comes to the Red Wigglers. Like, just, just walk along with them normally, I'll have the time. Because I'm in ahead of the first Wiggler this time, here. Gah! Okay, I've got a full 30 seconds out here now. That should be plenty. Excellent. Alright, alright, tricky. Good. I appreciate that 
particular comet star and level. That was a challenge. I feel good about beating it. Got some more bits for you, Bank Toad. Would you like to make a deposit or withdrawal? See, he's not giving me any interest at all now. What, because he put on the glasses and now he's an official banker? He's suddenly super fucking greedy and hitting me with fees and shit? Where's my interest, Toad? It's the whole reason I'm giving you money in the first place. Flip-flopping in Flipville. Let's just head to the next level. Let him stew in what he's done. I gave him a proper talking to, I did. Yes. Okay. Ouija. Hey. Looking for a star? You want me to take over for a while? Yeah. Of course I do, Luigi. You're the better one. Alright, Toad, what do you got for me? What's your clue? That thing's back looks so pointy. So I can't jump on it, even though it's clearly got a good amount of back available that isn't covered in spikes. You want me to do this to him. They only give me coins, not worth it. The soft bellies look so squishy. That's your reverse hint, okay. Ow. So where exactly do I need to get to here? Aside from right here for that co uh, galaxy comic coin, okay. Okay. Just backflip off into the fucking abyss. That's fine, too. I know where it is. I can get it back. Make sure to orient myself properly this time. So that I'm backflipping. Towards the level. Yes, good. Ooh? Okay, cool. You want me to fall through the world? I, I like, like, just the architecture. The, the little buildings going on here. These look nice. Ow. If there's a secret star in this level, it's probably in one of these many boxes that I'm running past. Oh god. Wasn't ready to be, uh, too weighed with a chain chomp there. Oh god. Ugh, I've already said I don't like how the gravity works in these, like, upside down situations. It's not obvious what way on the controller will make me walk what way. Nope, oh, that's the one I need. All right. Don't flip yet, because I'll die. But now I have to flip. Because otherwise, I'll die, right? No, okay. But I've got two here? No, no, I need to be on the other side again. That was weird, but okay. I guess I ended up eventually on solid ground. I'll take it. Oh, there's a boss? Alright. I can do boss. I've still got four hit points. I should be fine.
What up, giant sleepy boss? With a POW symbol on your stomach? Why would you evolve to have that? Why would you paint that on? Either one is like, just so full of questions. Oh god. Ooh, I see. Okay. Eventually you start laying down the lava. Hot d diggity dang. Stop laying down lava on everything that I need to get over to the next area. So what, she just spits it like a certain distance? Because that time I was really close to her and she didn't cover it up. Nope, it's definitely just supposed to be on to the grate that you're sitting on. Oh, I think I know what it is. I need to get her to like walk over one on this side and then flip back over. Like this. Shtabam. Okay. I got you now. Yo, what's up, Parzival3654? How's it going this morning? I'm playing Mario Galaxy. We're just cruising through this game. I'm up to like 54, 55 stars now? Comet Metal, Ghost Appeared. I did not look at the star count. I was looking at the chat. Whoops. Letter addressed to the Baby Lumas arrived. Blah, 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 blah. Attached item is still with you. Rosalina sending me stuff. 50 bits again. Mysterious person. Ooh. I've got a lot of problems with the Galaxy games. Galaxy 2 in particular here. Although Galaxy 1, no, no, that's not fair. Galaxy 1 and Galaxy 2 are both pretty flawed games in my opinion. But I've never played Galaxy 2 and it was a, uh, I mean a follower goal and people wanted me to play it. So now I'm gonna do it the whole way through. I'll give it, I'll give it a fair shake for the whole thing. And I know that it does have some good challenges hidden in here somewhere. We had one of them today already. Good, how about you? Not bad. I, I always like to play games on Saturday morning to wake up and stream them. I need to get in touch with my internet provider again and actually like make sure that they confirmed an appointment to get figure out what's ugh, hogging up all the bandwidth in my building in the evenings because I haven't been able to stream Danganronpa for two weeks and all of my Xenoblade streams have been like horribly crippled and at a super tiny bit rate. And I want to get it sorted out so that I can do those things, because I like those games. Anyway, thanks for the follow there, Parzival. I'd also like to get those things sorted out so that I can stream myself doing rigging or animation work, but like... I can't. Because... It's so bad that most of the time I straight up can't stream at all. Which is like... Painful to me. I wanted. I, I like streaming because it's a social thing. And then you deprive me of my social thing. Internet hog. Whee! So what's through here? Just a one-off. Great. Useless. Yeah. 
Okay, so I gotta get up on the top of this, right? Where's the way I can do that? Probably here? Yeah, that'll take me up a bit. Come in through here. No go on that. What about here? That's more promising. And then to here, takes me all the way up. Good, excellent. Ooh, I see how it's gonna be. Based on rhythm, it changes where the gravity's going. Yeah, I gotta get through here. Hold on. Hold on a second. There's a window there. What happens if I smash it? Oh. It won't let me? I don't believe you. Okay, I guess not. That seems like a missed opportunity. That screams to me that there's a secret there. There's like a specialty box set aside just for you to land on. Now, how do you want me to deal with this side? Okay, I think I get it. I gotta come down here, wait for the next beep. Now I can get over in this direction. And now we have a star in the center. Huzzah! I'm wondering where Green is at this morning. He's usually good to chat with here in Mario Galaxy streams. Ah oh well. I can hold down the fort solo for once if I need to. Gives me less opportunity to be silly and bounce off of somebody. <laughs> Good for me to develop my solo style once in a while. Yeah. A single star bit. If he didn't have the potential of giving me interest, I'd say it's not even worth donating it to the bank. He found one. Great. Well, every time it's just become habit now. So, Flipsville and Honey Hop are both wrapped up now. We've got Chomp Works or Starshine Beach. Let's go to the Starshine first. We're gonna have time for both. And I think after this uh, star, I gotta take two minutes to get myself a fresh cup of coffee. A new cuppa. Just imagine the gravity necessary on a tiny little planet like this to keep water in a dense sphere here. Like, I would imagine that your organs would be crushed at this point. <laughs> That's just me, though. Hey, Piantas! I don't remember seeing you in Galaxy 1. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I saw these star things flying all over the islands. I want to hear that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love Pianta sounds. <laughs> these guys are the best. Ow. Fine, it'll kick you in the ass. Gonna be all uppy about trying to be my friend. Let me jump on your top, ride you a little bit. I mean, what? Look, Yoshi lets me ride him. Why you crabs gotta be all crabby about it? Do, do you get it? Do you get it? Did I deafen you with nudging the microphone too much? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if so. Get over here, Lakitu! Flying bastard.
So I don't know what's up with these onion creatures. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be here a while because it seems like each one of these has a small amount of puzzle to it. Hmm. Okay, so I can't hold these guys in my mouth. It's just immediate swallow. So I gotta bring a spiny up here then. Because I do hold these guys. They're okay to store in your cheeks, but way too spiky to swallow, apparently. Bam. That's a one. There was a thing at the top of this tree, and I want to find out what it was. But I can't climb this tree. Hmm. Hey, I'll take a bunch of bits. Bits are nice. I need bits. I need thousands of them. Why are you riding Yoshi? Look, Yoshi just, like, popped himself out of a block and then bent over, presenting himself to me. And I'm like, all right, I guess if this is what you want, Yoshi, I can do it for you. Um, no, this just leads up to this thing again. All right. <clears throat> Needed to make sure I wasn't missing anything back there. So will this let me run on water? Like, why is this here? It does! Okay, cool. Well, then I can grab this one. The dynamic camera angle was cool, guys, but I, I really didn't get to see where I was going. Can I dive with Yoshi? I don't think so. So I'm going to have to do some underwater exploring there when I get to it. First, we have a pipe. And this is probably going to be nothing but coins, right? Yep. And then getting all the coins will just give me a one-up. Because that's how these things go. I have to do it once just to see. No! Okay, I'll take a collection of bits. That's actually worth it to me. If I can ever get, like, a hundred bits on a level, that's a good day in Mario's world. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave Yoshi here for a hot second. I'll come back. Because look at that, I found myself a Comet Medal. Hidden between the, ch the jaws of two crazy giant eels. And then it just spits out into this big area down here. All right, cool. I'll come back to the big area later too. Still not done exploring the surface world. Yoshi! Yoshi, why did you, why, why did you ditch me, Yoshi? Oh, I thought we had something special. Fine, I'll go get myself a new Yoshi. Get myself a side chick, huh? See how you like it. Come crying back to me. Look, she looks just like you and everything. Well, he seems unperturbed. He also likes being licked. You can eat pretty much anything you want here. Lots of tasty stuff. Ow. You're looking for star things? You won't find any in the ocean, but try up above it. Oh, thanks for the tip. That means in the ocean is going to be another star later. <clears throat> These are handy for me. No, no, no. Avoid the one-up. Bad one-ups. Do not want. Have too many already. Hmm. Someday I want to climb to the top of that tower. All right, so do I, but I don't see any uh, any blue fruits around to be able to do it. So what am I at now? Three. There's one at the top of the tower, and there's probably one at the top of the other big tower on the ocean too. 
I just had to find a blue fruit to be able to take me up there. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so I have to drag a spiny across. I can do this. <clears throat> Boom, ba-dam. ba, -dam. ba -dam. I said ba-dam. This is probably not gonna work, right? Nope. Will not let me swallow something else while I already have a thing. Perfect! Okay, good. Now we can bite this. Okay, well I didn't actually need to ditch Yoshi. I was so ready to, but good job, Yoshi. Okay, now, next problem. How the hell am I gonna get up there? There's pretty clearly gonna be one up there. In fact, I think I can already see it. Oh, no, wait, here it is. Huh. All right, sure. I guess that big tower will also be for the next star. This is too far away from anything to be able to use a blue fruit. Oh, I see. All right. I got to tilt it. Yeah. Good. That's close enough. Now you're going to go way across the beach somewhere, right? Yep. Make me track you down again. All right. Well, cool. Cool. I liked this level. There's five stars, they're all placed around, every one of them has their own little challenge to get to. None of them are particularly hard, but it's also not painfully obvious what to do. This was a good level, I like this. This is one of my favorite places to practice infinite Yoshi flutters in. Nice! It's really pretty, I like it. Also, good morning, Hala. Welcome. Welcome to a not Xenoblade stream. Starship Mario can advance. There's another Comet Medal. Let's go grab that. In a moment. First, I gotta dump some more stuff into Bank Toad. I can add 7 to your total. Right now, I have 1545. I think in total, he's added maybe 50 to what I have. Which is, like, not very great. But it'll add up eventually. I've still got another handful of worlds to get through. I'll go to the Comet Medal in a second. Let's wrap up this one while I'm here. Also, we're up to 14 viewers on a Saturday morning. That's a good turnout. Thank you, everybody. Oh, shit. I said I was going to get another coffee, didn't I? Climbing the Cloudy Tower. Well, I'm gonna go do that. Just Well here, I, I won't I won't do it there because that's an awful view to leave you with. And I'll only be gone for a minute, which is not really enough to grab an intermission screen. No, you know what? It, it is enough to grab an intermission screen. Just because I, I like showing off my stuff. Bam. I'll be back in a moment.
turns out it was well worth it to go to the intermission screen because that took longer than expected. I spilled half a cup on the floor and had to clean it up. Whoops. Let's get back to the game here. How do I look up? I can't look all the way up. There were star bits up there that I wanted to grab. Oh well. We're holding our strongest Pianta tournament, so everyone's busy looking burly. It's very hard job to look burly. Yeah! Oh god, come on, I'm so close. Good. Let's do this. Oh my god. Ah! Damn it, I didn't want that. I opened my own leaf raft shop. Today's the grand opening. Feel free to ride all you want. You really think you're gonna get many customers out here, dude? Ooh, okay, so... You turn it by just standing on it in different ways. So what exactly is, like... the point of this? What do you want me to get at? Because I can go around the base of it, sure, but I don't think there's anything here that's interesting to me. So what's my hints here? Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to do? Is that where I need... No, that's where I started, I think. Oh, it's up there. What the fuck is the point of that thing, then? It's existed for both of these stars, and it's just not doing anything. Hmm. What's your deal? See something sparkling way up there in the clouds? Yes, I do. How do you want me to get at it? These cannons are off. Yeah, so you just show me that it's there. Is there a power-up I need to get? Like, normally I don't think regular Mario can stand on clouds. Right? Yeah, no, it, it doesn't work. I need some kind of extra thing. So where be my extra thing? I gotta search for it. What's with this ominous circle on the ground? Oh, okay. It just gives me star bits. So they gave me a leaf raft. Do I need to use it somehow with this? Wanna look around, press that, press down to quit. Okay, I already figured that out. That tower's finally finished, but they hear the entrance is at the bottom of the ocean of all places. Okay, so they're pointing me here. I guess... Sure, maybe it's a secret star. Let's figure it out. Stomp on this. 
There we go. Okay, so it was necessary for this, because now I have access to my cloud power-up. Okay, I understand now. Touching water gets rid of it. So I need to use the leaf raft to get over to the island without using any of my clouds. I bet this is what they want. Okay, I'm piecing it together. I like this galaxy. I like this one a lot. The solutions aren't obvious. And then from here, I have to use my own clouds. Just a bam. Good. Oh god. Give me star, please. Thank you. Mmm, scalding hot coffee. How are you guys Saturday morning shaking out? You having fun and or being productive? If not, what are you playing? What are you wasting time on? Oh my god, really? There's a comet at a Bowser level? That seems odd. Shut up, Lubba! Just wander right on back up here up to the helm. Check in with Bank Toad. He's got seven for me again. Sure, deposit some more. Nearing the 2,000 mark, but I'm gonna need like a ton more. The the Lumas that, that, that's available in World 4 takes 1,200. So yeah, let's do this one, Comet. Just rolling in the stars. What's this? I see a thing down here. Nope, that's not what I need. Oh, purple, purple coin spin speed run. Oh, this might actually be dicks. This little area was not the best to navigate. Well, let's do it. You, you you can't you can't make me do it. All right, I I want that purple coin. I'm pretty sure that I god damn. Can I can I can I restart? Like I'm I'm already just completely off track. And this one's going to send me in the other direction. Ah. Stop stop it with this guy. Okay, so I'm at about half right now. Not as much as I would like, but it's it's progress. I gotta go off to the right first because that's the one that uh, just leads back and forth. There is a way to get rid of this, isn't there? Like, I don't want it anymore. It's getting in the way of my jumping. Okay, cool. I got them all. That's good. Good, I didn't miss a one. Okay, cool. There's nine left, and I have 40 seconds. Hey, Green, how's it going? I was wondering where you were at. Oh, my God. 
Oh my, okay, good, good. This is the last one. Yeah, good, wonderful. Now I just have to avoid the little black bastards. Ah, good. School fucked up your sleep schedule? Dude, that school's an important thing, all right? It's fine, don't worry about it. You're welcome to join me. I've got 20 minutes left. Hard cap on today's stream, unfortunately. Can't go long. I don't think I have any bits. Ah, but he might have bits. Nope, all right, fuck it. Not worth it, not worth the time. Hey. What up? I'm very tired. It, I just woke up. It's fine, dude. You do your own thing. Chomp works. Uh, I missed it. it. looks like I missed the rest of Supermassive, uh, Flipsville, and... I did all of the comets in the earlier worlds, too. That one level that I forget that I think has bees. I've been busy. I don't think I missed too much. I like Supermassive, but like, none of those stages are my favorite. They're, they're very creative, though. I started at 40 stars, I'm at 56 right now. I can just watch Fog for those. Yeah! Oh, you did the comments in the other level. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. I thought you meant just in this world, not overall. Nope, that's I went back to World 1. Sudden jump startled me because I was like, there's not 16 comet stars in this world. Uh, there's some good ones, but there's also some bad ones. Do you have any trouble with the, the stars, the spiny star one? That was the one in Yoshi's world, right? Yeah. Yeah, actually. I failed that one twice. That was the first yeah. one. I led the stream with that, and I'm like, I was like, yo, this is just going to be like super easy because it's the first level, I'm sure of it. And then it, <laughs> th then it owned me a couple times, and I had to begrudgingly give it some respect. I don't remember any ones that I really liked or really hated. Alright, cool. Comet Metal, that's a good. Ow! I've been more uh, attentively collecting star bits now and using Bank Toad because I imagine they're just going to get even more obnoxious with their demands over time. Ow! Yeah. Ow! Oh yeah, I forgot uh, the purple coin shadow vaults. The, the just going in the pipe and collecting all the purple coins. Yeah, I like that. I like anything that's Shadow Mario. Those are super fun levels. Oh, that's right. That that's why it's called Shadow Vault. I thought it was just because it was dark. I'm very not awake this morning. Uh, nope, no thanks. Bowser, free lives, and coins, none of those matter at all to me. Oh, that's right. You also had to do the... Wait, no. So you did all of the comet... Everything that was available to me at the okay. time. Because I keep not being sure which one of these is unlocked. Did you do the one in Boulder Bowl? I don't remember what that is. Uh, well, whoops. We the... That's uh, that's on me. <laughs> the one where you have the rock mushroom. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, there were a bunch of crabs. No, I know the level. I don't remember if I got a comet for it. Which specific ones I did is not important, like, in the slightest. <laughs> oh, I'm just looking for the ones that I, like, really like or really hate. Uh... I'll look at the VOD later, because I don't want to spoil any of these if you haven't unlocked them yet. It's not gonna matter that much, dude. Yeah, but... 
from, if I'm telling you ones I really like and ones I really hate, I want to see your genuine reaction when you get to those really painful or really fun parts. Or the ones that I consider really painful or really fun. I know it's... Alright, well then, then, then don't bother looking at them. Just don't talk about it if you're worried about spoiling it. It doesn't matter. Talk about something else. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm stopping. <laughs> Even if you've already done these, I don't want to... OW! Fucking lava bastard! Besides, this... This part of the stage is pretty fun, too, in quotes. There have been some, like, genuinely fun levels so far this morning. I've been enjoying this. Like, this isn't a bad part of the stage, but it's... it's... kind of a bit weird to guide this chain jump. It shouldn't give you any trouble, but it's a bit awkward. Seems fine to me. Yeah, that's why I said it seems. That's, that's why I said it should be fine. Like, where's the awkwardness? I did that. I did that in one shot. <laughs> yeah. Shit's shit's fine. All right, 57 stars. Maybe I'll get 20 today. That'll be some good progress. Actually, I have been maintaining a pace of about that speed. <laughs> Cosmic odd jobs I need done, slackers need to apply, go to Boulder Bowl Galaxy. Don't care, Guillermo, talk to you later. All over the place. See me leap into action. Hazza, hazza. Hazza, hazza. Bank Toad, give me the bits. Um, Three. Have, have you done the Gearmo stages? I don't I remember, dude. None of this game sticks out as memorable to me. I'm just doing tasks they put in front of me. I still don't get why people say these aren't memorable. If I just look at a star name, I'm like, oh, that one, I remember they're that They're creative, one. kind of, and they're visually pretty, but there's very little about them that, like, sticks out as a unique like, memorable experience of a level. It's, we've spoken about this, about this before, it's mostly just a bunch of ideas slapped together in ways to, like, make you do something a different way. But that doesn't make them, as a harsh term, good. It just makes them, like, different. that point. I definitely agree in the case of 3D World. 3D World has the same kind of problem. I don't remember half the stages in that except for like the important ones, like the ones with Bowser in them. But See, 3D the World stage. is much more memorable to me. No? You don't even have to go back to old stages, so the set pieces don't... The set pieces are even shorter than this game. Well, they maintain they consistent really theming through an entire world, for one which helps things feel more memorable because you keep getting exposed to it. There's... No, 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 dude. World. I'm saying each world has consistent theming among their levels. Do you see the same stuff in a bunch of different levels? I mean, it has the same problem 3D Land does, is that the worlds aren't cohesive. Every stage is completely different. Like, yeah, there's some there's some theming in the levels. I know there's, like, a lot of stages that are similar next to each other, but not any stages that are the same. They don't need to be the same. They just need to feel similar, and they do. I'm not getting I, into this I argument again. This is getting off track. Like, I made a point, and I'm not going into defending 3D World instead. My point was about Galaxy. 
And like, cool, that was a level that was supposed to be about chain chomps and all I did was spring around for it in it for a while. Like that's not memorable to me. And you don't spend long enough in any area here to have it mean anything to me. Like, this stream, I've been averaging a star every five minutes or faster. In, like, these big 3D set pieces with different worlds and stuff, and I'm just zooming through them and none of it's sinking in because it's just that this... It doesn't sit to me. It doesn't have any impact. And that's how 3D World was for me. That's fine, dude! Again, you're doing this thing where you're taking it it's personally. Not, it's, it's not about Galaxy <laughs> this time. It's about the point about memorability. Just because a game isn't memorable doesn't make it good or bad. I didn't remember a stage no, in no, 3D But the World. original point was about memorability. You said, did you do this thing? And I said, I don't remember because none of this is memorable to me. Yeah, and memorability is subjective. That's fine! I think this is less a point, less a problem with the fact that you don't remember what stages it was. It's more of a problem that I hate that Barry used that as the crux of his argument when that's subjective. Because, like, he may not remember it, you may not remember it, but I remember it. I'm not using it. Barry as a reference here, dude. I'm using this as person, my own thing. And oh, memorability yeah, I'm, I'm... is not entirely subjective. There are things you can do and pillars you can rely on to make things of memorable. Of course. But that doesn't... There's not a guaranteed memorable and unmemorable. There are things you can do to make it more or less It doesn't need to be a guarantee. Like, a lot of people like this, like the Galaxy games, because they're just big, weird-shaped set pieces. And all I'm saying is, to me, that doesn't matter. Because I, none of it has the, the weight of something that matters enough to sink in, to be memorable. Just being kooky and big and weird doesn't do it for me. And that's all Galaxy seems to be. That was what I was saying. Period. Done. Let's not go down into this level of arguing again. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll change it to a more... <laughs> I'll change it to not be about uh, Galaxy. I think one thing that helps memorability is if there's, like... God damn it. I think... I think... Again, it's subjective, so I, I could be completely wrong on this, but I think plot helps that a lot, because that's why I found Hat in Time... Quote-unquote plot, like character depth and stuff like that. That's why I found Hat in Time so memorable, because I remember the characters. That's why I play games in the first place, is for characters. Like, I've said this a hundred times, games that are purely about gameplay... I appreciate that those exist, but like, that's not why I play games. I don't play games just for a sandbox to have fun mechanically in. That's why I didn't like Breath of the Wild. I need characters. I rely on plot. Games are a, are the best storytelling medium for me. Reasons to do things and to care about things are what make me invested. And make me care and make me remember. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can definitely stand behind that. Because, like, yeah, challenges, set pieces, and whatnot can be memorable, but if you have something to, like, latch on to, like, characters to care about, or plots that give you stakes, then that's, God, God, that's God, what God. Feel makes it the most memorable. Because then there's, then there's that weight you were talking about, instead of just going through a checklist, or looking at something pretty. Good mechanics and good... Is, like, art design can help, but I think it's a plot and characters that can really make a game. Well, no, that's, that, that, like, again, subjective opinion. Yeah, that... Nintendo, and Mario games yeah, in particular, do subjective. their stuff that's much more lean, uh, leaning on gameplay, and people love the Mario franchise for it. It depends yeah. on, like, what the game is trying to do. Yeah, there are... Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not saying that my opinion is subjective, but I'm definitely... <laughs> quote-unquote rule, even though it's not really a rule. Like, there's games that I love that don't have plot of characters. Galaxy 2 is one of them. Uh, I'm trying to think of other ones. 
Uh, fucking... Uh, most of the Mario Party games don't really have much of a plot. Those are fun. Etc. Etc. I, I could probably think of more examples. There's different things that cause it. It, it depends on the game. Like, you can't try to boil it down to saying, this is the thing that makes it memorable. No, it's like, that's a thing that can make it memorable if that's the type of game you want to make. I also think it kind of depends on the person to person because of, like, personal experience. Yeah, but because of that, that's irrelevant. Like, you, you, like, there's literally no point in focusing on it because it's meaningless in this context. It's just assumed. You get what I'm saying? Like, we, we don't have to keep circling around this idea that's, that it's subjective because that should be an underlying assumption on every single discussion about the topic. That's fair. I'm just trying to figure out what that. Uh, what? Well, no. I was gonna say what makes things more more memorable for some and not for others, but that's not really what my argument is going towards. Is that? That you literally have to ask every single person. You have to ask for their like personal history with this, with such and such game and similar games to it. Yeah. Like, don't worry about so. it. You can ask me what my opinions are, and I'll tell you. But then don't like try to defend them or give an up opposing opinion. Like that's my opinion. That's all I said. <laughs> I think you can, I think, I it doesn't think, have to be an argument, is what I'm saying. You ask my opinion, I give it. You don't have to feel like that's an attack. Yeah. You can give an opposing opinion. It, just, it doesn't have to be an argument. To Boosh. Cool. I think I think it's just mainly. I don't understand, but that's the argument. Because again, it's it's personal experience. It's the reason why some people find a game memorable and some people don't. So you'd be confused about that. Because I don't know you or various personal experiences compared to mine. Yeah. Just like, stop. Different topic. We're just rehashing the same shit we've talked about for the last two streams. Cool, Bowser's down. Uh, now I just feel like we're going to be starting a different argument. But it's not about Galaxy, don't worry. We're li well, we're at the end of the stream. Do you really want to open up another oh. Pandora's box? I was just going to say, I like Eggman more than Bowser. He's more entertaining. That's not a, the, the, a personal taste again, dude. I was just going to say that's not even up for debate, but that's totally up for debate. It depends on the game Bowser's in. Bowser's hilarious that's in the true. Paper Mario or the Mario yeah, Luigi games. especially Super Paper Mario. <laughs> and Eggman can be kind of flat in some games. Like, I don't know, probably Sonic R. I, I'm not a Sonic It depends expert. on the game. They should just really do more with Bowser, I feel. Miyamoto doesn't let them do more with Bowser. They tried doing more with Bowser, and then he said no. That's why he doesn't have personality in games the way he used to. And they kind of try, but it's the same kind of try they give Mario. It's like, 
like uh, him with the cat suit in 3D World, or some of his lines in this game, and uh, I'd assume Odyssey. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I remember seeing some good lines from him, but that's like just good lines that could have been said by any character that's villainous. Ah, oh, well, I got 59, and we're at the end of this stream. I don't know if I want to go hunt down a 60. This is like a really good end spot. Well, with opening up a new world and everything. Also, who designed this fucking steering helm? This is terrible. Like, Mario's only like the, the, the short little boy. The wheel is three times as tall as me, and then the base is also taller than me. How am I supposed to see where I'm steering? I could say that it was designed for Lubba, but nah, like, they made that while Mario was there. They should have known his proportions yeah. and how to work around that. I can't defend that. Not at all. Oh, this world. This world is weird. You also don't know the definition of the word world. Worlds are like planets which are inside galaxies. No, which are inside solar systems, which are inside galaxies, which are inside universes, and yet they use world as the big thing? Like, it's fuck, it's so goddamn confusing. It, it's confusing for me, too. It's like, why? It, it, if this is a world, then what are the planets? Are they just... Is that a land? It's unimportant is what it is. Thank you, everybody, for showing up to another week of Super Mario Galaxy 2. We're gonna see if we can send you folks off somewhere else here. Um, I know the message. Pretty simple message. I just have to find an appropriate target this morning. Most of the people that I know aren't going right now. They don't really have somewhere to specifically show you, uh, send you. I see one person, but I don't know how often, I don't know how well you know him. I just know that he's in similar communities to you. He's been around here in the chat before. I'm half awake and I don't keep up with every stream that everyone watches. Yeah, there's a whole lot of nobody else posting things after I started today. Well, there's one person I know and then there's one person in the streams and LPs if you want to go for either of those. Nah, that person didn't actually say what they were doing. I'm not gonna send folks at a random ass stream that like okay, somebody I doesn't doesn't even describe. No, dude, 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 shh, 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 shh. No, I got, I, no, I, no. I got this. No, I, I, I got this. I got this. All right. Okay. Oh, I, I, I got this. Okay. You got someone in mind. That's fine. Enter, enter, Keith. God damn it! Oh. Why? This keyboard is going down. Wow, Twitch is it must be lagging or glitching for me because I didn't even see he was live. There we go. We're gonna go hit up Shogun with nine raiders, all right? With uh, shut up, Lava. <laughs> the only thing I ever say when he shows his face. Tune in on Monday, hopefully for the continuation of Danganronpa, and if not, on Friday for Xenoblade Torna, the Golden Country DLC. Gonna be playing that. Have a good weekend, guys. Do something, you know, have to do anything they say. So yeah, we're off to go kick their lights out. Punch their lights out.